good morning students now uh, what i'll discuss about is that greek sculpture last time i discuss about roman sculpture and i told you in detail about roman sculpture now i'll talk about greek sculpture now if you see greek sculpture then you will find that greek sculpture reached its peak during the classical period now you all know i think you all know about classical period classical period is a period where uh, all the things especially in uh, visual art it uh, goes into its peak time all the works were classical work it was tremendously and highly appreciated by all so this greek art also uh, reached its peak into a classical period and the time duration uh, was 600 to 480 bc and uh, the most important thing is that greek artist they concentrated on carving and they made free standing sculpture they mostly focused on free standing sculpture now here i would like to tell you something about free standing sculpture now free standing sculpture uh, means a sculpture which is uh, seen from all angles which is seen from all directions a sculpture which is viewed from different sides that is free standing sculpture in uh, in uh, in visual art language we can say it is a uh, sculpture in round and another thing is that relief sculpture that you all know i think relief sculpture is a sculpture that is uh, viewed or that is seen from the uh, front only and relief sculpture it is attached to the background that is relief sculpture but this greek sculptors they focused on free standing sculpture that means round sculpture that is one thing and uh, their sculptures were very bold and they focused on their anatomy all the things were visible now here right now if i talk about the characteristics of uh, greek sculpture the first point i'll say that it is a time of classical period it started in classical period that is number 1 second point second characteristic is that it started from uh, around 600 to 480 bc around 600 to 480 bc then third point i'll say that their works were very bold and very skillful that means works were very bold and skillful and they made mostly they focused on free standing sculpture as i have said right now free standing sculpture i have said and i have uh, told you something about relief sculpture also now they made life size sculpture that is another point they made life size sculpture this is also another characteristics life size sculpture means a sculpture which is 
which is made absolutely in a proper manner so that is life size sculpture and they made some portraits that was based on idealistic characteristic so if we talk about characteristic so we can say that the portraits were idealistic idealistic portraits they made it was not uh, the simple portrait it was idealistic portrait and uh, one of the great artists during that time one of the great sculptors during that time was myron myron was a great sculptor during that time and he made a sculpture and that sculpture uh, sculpture's name is a discus thrower discus thrower if you see that sculpture then you will find out and you will see the detail of that particular sculpture so that is very famous you all must see that sculpture and another thing is that this greek sculptors focused on uh, that public monuments their sculptures were based on uh, one particular uh, you can say uh, it was figurative no doubt there is no doubt about it that it was figurative but it was for public uh, monuments they made it it was not their uh, for their personal purpose as uh, roman uh, sculptors they made sculptures for their personal needs but uh, in greek sculpture uh, we find that uh, they made sculpture for public so that's why it was different now uh, another thing is that they made head in roman sculpture if you talk about roman sculpture roman sculpture sculptors made portraits only they focused on portrait but in greek sculpture they focused on the life size figure complete figure because according to greek sculptors if they uh, make half bust or a uh, portrait only that is that means it is incomplete according to their philosophy greek uh, sculptors philosophy it is incomplete so that's why they believed in complete life size work and they made sculptures that was completely life size free standing sculpture this is a, a very uh, good uh, difference between roman sculpture and uh, greek sculpture now uh, these are the uh, characteristics of uh, greek sculpture so it is very important to know all the characteristics here i am just uh, once again uh, going to repeat whatever i have uh, discussed right now now greek sculpture it is a sculpture which is started in classical period and classical period means all the works were different from other uh, periods and uh, uh, the time duration is 600 to 8 480 bc that is the time duration and uh, the works were very bold and the, all the sculptors were very skillful they were masters in their subjects and another point is that they made greek sculptors made free standing sculpture free standing means a sculpture which is uh, viewed from different angles which is seen from different sides that is free standing sculpture and they made life size sculpture okay they did not make small a uh, market type uh, sculpture it was life size because they believed and uh, they understood that uh, the life size sculpture means sculpture is a three dimensional form you all know that that's why they made life size sculpture and another important point is that they made portraits that was based on ideality they had uh, their own ideology so they made figures or portrait that was based on ideology they made idealistic portrait so this is all about uh, greek sculpture and it, in next session i'll talk about renaissance sculpture so thank you that's all